Hello, it's Tuesday, and that means it's time for episode three of Casey's Truth Bomb Tuesday. So, tonight's topic is again another very controversial one, but I've done research, I've looked it up, and I uh, have to share this with y'all. The topic tonight is aluminum. We might think that uh, aluminum is fine, we've used it for years, it's good for us, blah, blah, blah. Well, kind of like fluoride, our body has no use for it. We don't need it, and it actually causes problems. It causes health problems. So, the problems include, <laughs> um, it's linked to Alzheimer's and dementia, seizures and epilepsy, Osteomalacia, which is bone problems. It's been shown to um, cause slow growth in children, bone pain, deformities, and fractures, um, chronic fatigue syndrome, and ADD. That's just a few things. It's also, um, you might think, well, I don't drink out of aluminum cans. I don't use uh, aluminum foil, but most people do. That's the scary part, most people do. But there's this huge, humongous list of things that are in everyday products that have aluminum. Now, it is kind of scary that it's okay to be able to put this in your body because they say it's safe, but there's a couple of items on this list that just one tablet exceeds the safe limit by a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot but people use it all the time. So, what are some of the, the items? Well, top of the list is aspirin, buffered aspirin, which your doctor tells you to take all the time. You need this to stop this other problem. Well, it's, it's, it's one of the worst things you can put. It actually has 10 to 20 milligrams of aluminum in it per tablet. And then another one is antacids. Who takes antacids? I don't, because I have oils for things like that. But anyway, um, and antacids have 104 to 208 milligrams of aluminum per tablet. I know so many people that crunch those down like candy because they have acid reflux or they have this or they have that. There's a reason you have that. Stop patching it with something that's causing a bigger problem. Um, dyes, cake mix, pancake mix, breads processed cheese, baking powder, aluminum foil, cookware, vaccines, shampoos, cosmetics, lotions, soda cans. This is, this is one is, is not so okay. Soy-based and lactose intolerant baby formula. Let's just put it in there too, because that's necessary. And then let's not go and forget pharmaceuticals. Um, and it's also used in refining sugar. So your packaged processed sugar has aluminum. It's been used to make it white processed sugar. So there's so many things. The FDA level, because they, they can't, aluminum is one of those things that it is a naturally occurring thing. It is in 8% of the earth's crust and it is in air. It's in your air, it's in, it's in everything. It's in your air, your products, your uh, breathing, your cooking, it's everywhere. So they can't really test what causes what. However, they have seen in animal studies that the, um, excuse me, that the, um, it causes bioaccumulation. It also, this is something that's very interesting about aluminum. It's a very reactive metal. So when you do ingest it, it has to bond to something. So it bonds to places in your body and it goes wherever it wants to go. 95% of it is excreted. That's great. That other 5% is not excreted and it is absorbed. And most of that ends up because it is reactive and it bonds to things. Its favorite thing to bond to is neurons your, um, in your brain. Those are, they, they live forever. They don't replace. Every cell in our body replaces, but our neurons remain forever. Once they die, they're dead. 
and that's where they mostly accumulate. That leads me to the main cause of Alzheimer's and dementia is aluminum. We've done a lot of studies on it, people. It's really scary. So, you know, people, oh, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. There are so many reasons to cut out the five million things that have it in it. That'd be great if you only get it in one thing, but they're even putting it in your bottled water. The FDA level for bottled water is 0.2 milligrams per liter. Now I told you how much is in an antacid tablet. One antacid tablet has 104 to 208 milligrams. One tablet. One aspirin, 10 to 20 milligrams. So if the FDA says the level for water is 0.2 milligrams and that's safe, what about those things? And everything on this list, it's, it's way higher than the water. The water is the minimal, believe it or not. Um, but again, it's another, another item that is put in everything that causes harm to the body. Oh, there's another one. It also has, um, causes oxidative stress which also incre increases cancer risk, and it is shown up in skin cells and breast cells. And it's in most breast cancers that are removed. They, they do pathology and there's aluminum in there because we use deodorant. That's pretty scary. I make my own deodorant. I've done several videos over it over the periods of time I've been doing this, but it's simple ingredients that I have in my house that are non-toxic plant-based. Um, Aluminum has been classified as a carcinogen to humans by the International Agency for Research on Cancer, IARC, yet it's okay in this country. It's banned in a lot of places. It's not used in a lot of things, but in our country, they even put it in baby formula. That's pretty scary. That's actually um, really scary because a baby's blood, blood brain barrier, the only thing that keeps our brain safe from a lot of the toxins that we ingest is the blood brain barrier. And it can get, it, it only allows such small particles to get through. It keeps you safe from most stupid things that people take, do whatever with their body. But a baby, their blood brain barrier is not fully developed yet. And so we're feeding our children this not knowing and we're putting that in there and that, that that aluminum bonds to your neurons it doesn't let go unless you purposely detox and that takes a lot of effort and time so i just want y'all to look into it look into oh it also causes um it com my notes are scratchy <laughs> it causes dna damage chromosome aberrations and micronuclei formations i'm not a scientist but those sound really scary and like I said, I don't cook with aluminum foil. I don't have it in my house. I don't use aluminum pans. I use stainless steel. I don't use any of these processed things. Um, make my own deodorant. Don't eat boxed any things. I don't have antacids or aspirin. I use oils for my lifestyle. Um, so cosmetics, lotions, shampoos, Young Living has all that. And it is aluminum free. So it's amazing that you can have these products in your house and still live a normal life and not add to the already toxic amount that you're getting, but you're told it's safe, but it's not really. So that's my take on uh, aluminum. Um, next week's topic will be announced on next Tuesday. I don't know what that is yet. I've got a list, I'm working on it. And y'all have a great night, God bless you. Thanks for watching. Be educated, informed, research. Bye.